Hello and welcome back. We are in Los Angeles at La Pou Bell Restaurant, directly opposite the Scientology Celebrity Center. It's Thursday, April 4th, 2024, and tonight we're going to see how cold-hearted the restaurant staff are. It is the first time in many weeks that tables have been set up outside and guests are sitting at them. The restaurant has been boycotted for weeks because the owner supports the convicted felon Danny Masterson. He was convicted of grape several women. In addition, the restaurant is closely linked to Scientology and many guests have been lured to the Scientology Celebrity Center in the restaurant. Does anybody have, um, eyes that, um, this is an important moment. I know it was difficult to recognize. Yeah, A man dressed in black was sitting on the chair. Leaning forward, he had crutches with him. I think they realized that Their case for having, um, oh, look, look, it doesn't look, take long scoring. and the blinds are go, lowered. Go. So the they definitely up, don't yeah, want to be watched. And I know why. Wait a moment. We should not see people smoking in the tent. This is forbidden and can cost the owner his oh, alcohol smoking. license. I, in there. See, so. No, no. This is, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be outdoor dining. It's not supposed to be an indoor dining smoking tent. And I'm waiting for her to come and put down the rest of the flaps. So I guess we're at the right spot. We're just early ahead of everybody else. Zachary is quite right with his statement. It should be a dining area. Tal, what are you doing tonight, man? Here she goes. Flaps go down. So we did our job here. Shame, shame, shame. Uh -oh. I don't think you're allowed to bring alcohol outside. Yeah, no, I'm a whistle bar. I just don't want to be okay. This place supports Danny Masterson, the rapist. It's just that we're trying to warn the public about it. Do God's work. There we go. Every night, as soon as we show up, the fire department or the police come. Every night without fail. So I think this is us. They got the lights on. They just turned the lights off now. Here's the fire department. So where are they going? The two are curious. Here's fire. It looks as if the assignment will be canceled. Oh wait, no, it's just a white fire. I don't know. There goes the fire department. The fire department has canceled its mission, but they see the police in the distance. They set off to see what's going on. So. Karkash City. Now we got more sirens coming. Airbags deployed and um, second vehicle, AAA airbags didn't deploy. And here comes fire again. I think now for the car crash. So, if, and is it for this? It's gotta be for this, right? So here's fire, um, typical night in Hollywood. After a few minutes, the two make their way back to the restaurant. Here is the man with the crutches. We did catch the guys with the drinks out here, though, so... An employee of La Bell comes out and takes a quick look at the man in the chair. Then he quickly disappears again. He knows us. We now know that this man was previously sitting on a chair in the tent area. Zachary and we in LA were gone for 15 minutes and now he's sitting on a chair outside. They didn't realize at the time that he was sitting in the tent. He is unresponsive. How did he get outside? With the chair from La Bell when he can barely move. He can't carry the chair with his crutches at the same time. Someone must have helped him. More minutes pass and no help in sight. Was he inside the restaurant? He's just sitting outside. They got some water. He's sitting outside. Should we? Because he's not responding. I feel like maybe we should have a response. Because what if he's passed out and he needs medical attention and we don't even do anything? 
The gentleman is checking on him. We should get a response from them before we walk away. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get some sleep because, like, life on the streets is hard. Yeah, I think he's okay. He's breathing, right? Yeah. Was he inside La Puville? You heard about the that. restaurant has proven in recent weeks that they have called the police or the fire department because of protests over every little thing. I think he's, he, he's right. They checked on him. They gave him some water. I think he's just sleeping because he's tired. Really? He's drunk. No, no. Oh, whoa, it's Layla. Layla showed up. Hello, Layla. Hey, good to see whoa. You. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, a, it's a weird night. Well, Layla's got the megaphone. So now we got Layla. We're good. We don't, we don't need to go anywhere. We got, we got three. out the house. I was like... After a few more minutes, Zachary decides to end his live stream and call 911 for the man in the chair. Bro, the, the fact that it's... I kind of don't want to show this. Uh, I don't. I don't feel like there's a need to show it. Um, show this guy. Wait, it went the opposite way. Over here, buddy. There's people laughing in there. What do you guys think? Ice cream? Well, after this, of I still wonder how he got outside with crutches and a chair. Why didn't the restaurant call for help? Basically simple. A drunk unresponsive man in a restaurant makes a very bad impression this guy's like this is his favorite place i'm like man we'll pay you double to come out here we'll give you free drinks every night an ambulance has now arrived to take the man to hospital i think that the staff didn't call for help and just put him on the sidewalk makes a very bad impression simply heartless it was very cold that evening and the man was obviously restricted with his crutches. Damn, that's crazy. Even in the stretcher, these people don't care. I want more the reaction from me is than any other. Fortunately, the protesters made sure that the man got the help he needed. You can't rely on the restaurant staff. I don't think the restaurant cares, right? Uh, they don't care. They don't care. There's only like three people that I see. Let me see. I see like four people here. You guys should go take your turn that's outside. Can that guy sue the restaurant? You can sue anything for anybody. You can sue anybody for anything. Hi guys. 
to save his life. Another fucking example. Another goddamn fucking example of how a piece of shit like my mom who behaves. My God. My God. No one should go in here. How many examples do people need to know they should do the right thing and boycott this place? If the protesters were here, like Zach, you know, the ones that you villainize, but if Zach wasn't here, this peaceful protester, that man could have died, got terribly ill. There's your fucking chair. It sat him on the corner like a king dog, like a piece of trash. La Poubelle is French for trash can. Shame on you. And everybody that's in there, you guys should have already boycotted this place. 90% of you are regulars. You think Francois is just an innocent victim? She's selling his wine, Danny Masterson. She wrote a letter on his behalf to the judge. This is the letter the owner of Lapu Bell wrote to the judge after Danny Masterson was found guilty. Enjoy reading it.